एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम वट रेलिवेंस डज फ्रिक्शन हैज इन इंजीनियरिंग एप्लीकेशन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी लर्निंग द कॉन्सेप्ट थ्रू अ न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम वेलकम टू एस चांद अकेडमी एंड आई एम अनमोल भाटिया वी आर लर्निंग द कोर्स इंजीनियरिंग मैकेनिक्स एंड द टॉपिक फॉर टूडे इज न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन फ्रिक्शन For detailed conceptual clarity, you can refer to this book by S. Chand Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. We are doing module number one. So far, we have covered several topics, uh, which are there in the playlist of the subject. In this video, we will be learning about the problems on friction. One category of the problem we have already covered in the previous video. now in this video we will be learning about a new type of problem and that uh, particular case of problem is this problem let us uh, read the statement of the question the question says find the value of weight w if the body is in limiting equilibrium condition that means I, as far as the diagram is concerned i am having a block which is having an unknown weight and i need to push this block with the help of a force which is uh, having a value of 500 newton and i am having an angle of inclination as 30 degree with the floor horizontal floor having the coefficient of friction as 0.25 so what is required in the question the question says that how much load how much is the value of w so that this can be uh, pushed by a force of 500 newton so the concept behind such kind of problem lies under three different statements and those are the equilibrium conditions one when we put all the forces when we sum up all the forces in x direction and we need to put it equals to 0 is the first condition the second condition when we have the sum of all the forces in y direction and i need to put it equals to 0 and sum of all the movements about a point that is equal to 0 now in this particular situation we don't have any point in which rotation is possible so we are leaving this movement only this two would work for us and you also uh, know uh, about a formula and that formula is f equals to mu multiplied by r here f indicates the frictional force mu is the coefficient of friction and r indicates the normal reaction of the surface but if we apply these two conditions we need to prepare a free body diagram for the same so the diagram given in the question is to be converted into a free body type diagram so that this two can be applied so i was having this question in which w was not mentioned but the force is 500 mentioned and the angle of inclination is given to me and the coefficient of friction is also given now i need to prepare a free body diagram for the same initially the w part is the weight of the block and that weight is acted downwards so w is acted downwards on the surface and in order to balance this w i need to have a normal reaction so there is a normal reaction now i am pushing this block in this direction that means the block will move in this direction that means the motion of this movement of the block is in the, this direction that's why the reverse would be the condition for frictional force so considering friction also into the picture if the motion is there in this direction so the opposite direction would be the frictional force and as this pushing is there in the inclined manner so i need to generate two different uh, 
components of this force those two components are 500 cos 30 because this is having an inclination of 30 degree and uh, the vertical component is 500 sin 30 so i have two components one is uh, 500 cos 30 and another component is 500 sin 30 so this is as far as the free body diagram is concerned uh, i am again repeating the free body diagram one we have the load which is acted downwards on the surface to balance this load we have a normal reaction this is perpendicular to the surface the motion is there in this direction because we are pushing this uh, object so the reverse would be the frictional force which is f having the coefficient of friction mu as 0 0.25 i have broken this value of 500 newton into two components one is 500 cos 30 another is is, is the 500 sin 30 value now i need to perform the the same conditions uh, the first one is considering sum of all the forces and I need to put sum of all the forces as equal to 0. The sign convention that is to be followed is this sign convention and this is to be treated as positive. So, initially write sigma fx equal to 0 but with this sigma also write the sign convention that you are using. So, here the two uh, horizontal forces that is there in the free body diagram are number one is this force component and another one is this 500 cos 30 which is uh, the reverse of the same. So as far as the sign convention is concerned I have taken this sign as positive so this f value is considered as positive and 500 cos 30 is to be considered as negative. So on solving or putting in the value of cos 30 I will get this value of f as 433.012 newton so i got the value of frictional force but the requirement was to find out w so for that i need to consider the sum of all the forces in the vertical directions also so as you know that f equals to mu multiplied by r this is the formula of frictional force r here stands for the normal reaction so before uh, going for this summing up all the vertical forces I need to find out the normal reaction also. So I calculated this f from here f is 433.012 that is divided by the value of mu mu here is 0.25 so substitute the value of mu and find out r value. So from here the value of r comes out to be this value 1732.018 newtons. Now the condition which is sum of all the forces for the vertical components is to be applied. So I am going for that uh, equilibrium condition for all the forces in the vertical direction. So here sum of all the forces in the vertical direction is to be considered but uh, keep in mind that this type of direction is to be considered for a positive sign. So I need to consider this as a positive value uh, and put it equals to 0. Now look for all the forces which are there in the uh, vertical direction. One force is this R force, another is this W force and the third one is 500 sin 30. So there are three force components which are there in the vertical direction. But as far as the sign is concerned, this type of force is considered as positive. So R value will be considered as positive, W is the negative value and 500 sin 30 is to be considered as a negative value. So on solving put the value of sin 30 here and on solving because you have the value of R you can easily find out this W. So here R you have calculated already 500 sin 30 value you know and on solving you will get the value of W as this value. In this category of problem we are not pushing the block. In this category of problem we are pulling the block but that force with which we are pulling the block uh, was not parallel rather it was inclined to the surface. So inclined surface case uh, consideration what we do we generally divide that force into two components and then go for the equilibrium of forces and calculate what is required in the question. Now we stop for a short break after the break we will uh, learn about a specific another category of frictional problem. 
Now quality learning is easily available at your doorstep. S. Chand Academy brings detailed lectures based on AICTE curriculum as per the new education policy 2020. So do not forget to subscribe to the S. Chand Academy and access the wide world of knowledge conveniently sitting at your home. Stay connected and keep watching S. Chand Academy. Happy learning! Welcome back to S. Chand Academy. In this video, we will be learning about the frictional problems. And uh, so far, we have covered a category of problem in which the block was placed perpendicularly on the surface. Now, in this type of problem, the block will be placed on the inclined surface, not perpendicularly on the surface. So, in order to start with this type or this category of the problem, we directly come to the statement of the, the the problem the statement says that there is a block of weight 500 newton so i have a block of weight 500 newton and that block is resting on the inclined plane and that is making an angle of 20 degree so there is an inclined plane and that inclined plane is making an angle of 20 degree on the surface and that inclined plane is having uh, the coefficient of friction as 0.14 so as far as the question is concerned it is given uh, that the value is 0.14 and uh, the block is pulled with the force of P. We are pulling this block with the help of force P. So this is uh, the specific category of the problem that we will be learning. Here also we are interested in um, dividing the force component with the help of the free body diagrams. So here also we will be considering the free body diagrams. So, how to make those free body diagrams? Let us look at the situation. Number one, this 500 Newton, which is the weight of this body. As you know that the weight of the body is acted downward perpendicularly on the surface. So, this 500 Newton is acted perpendicularly downward on the surface. So, 500 is this uh, value of force and the direction is the downward direction. The reverse part which is the perpendicular force so perpendicular to this will be the normal reaction and this would be perpendicular to the surface we are pulling this block with the help of the force p so here the force p is there with which we are pulling this block and uh, the resisting force is the frictional force having the opposite direction now the main difference between this problem and the problem we did before going to the break the main difference is the surface the surface in the previous part was horizontal surface now surface here is an inclined surface in this situation so what to do in case of an inclined surface we need to consider uh, the plane like this so here the x-axis will become this plane and y-axis will become this plane so here you can see that this P indicates the X axis or the horizontal components and Y axis will indicate this Y axis will indicate the all the vertical components of the forces. So when we go for equilibrium condition we need to consider uh, the sum of horizontal forces as this direction and this direction. So these two directions are indicative of the horizontal directions and this direction is indicative of the vertical case now what about this 500 newton which was the vertical part but it was the downward directional case with respect to this inclined one so what to do let us look at the procedure for this we will be dividing it into two components as this 500 was applied on this surface so the two components of the forces will be there in these two directions so one is the horizontal direction and another one is the vertical direction. Now I need to have an angle so that this can be divided into two different components. So in order to get that angle, let us look at the procedure. We will draw or we will extend this 500 Newton vertically downward so that it matches with the base. Now this angle is 20 degree mentioned this angle is 90 degree so if i go for the angle sum property of the triangle i'll get this angle as 70 degree 
Now, if this angle is 70 degree, this angle would also be 70 degree because these two are the vertically opposite angles. So, if this angle is 70 degree, as far as the corresponding angles are concerned, this angle is also 70 degree. So, I will get this angle part as 70 degree. Now, I can easily resolve this 500 Newton force into two components. So, first component is 500 cos 70, the horizontal component and the vertical component is 500 sin 70. So, I have divided or I have um, broken this into two different components, broken this force of 500 into two different components. Now, the process is same that we uh, learned in the previous section. The process is considering sum of all the horizontal forces and putting it equals to 0 and considering sum of all the vertical forces and putting it equals to 0. But we need to keep in mind that the sign conventions are to be followed. So, for the vertical direction we consider as the positive sign and for this direction we consider it as a positive sign. The sign reverse from this is to be taken as a negative sign. Now, we have broken all these components into uh, the free body diagram situations. Now, we can uh, find out the value of f from here. So, f is equal to mu multiplied by r. r value can be calculated from the sum of all the forces. So, if I go for uh, calculation of uh, r, what to do? I will consider sum of all the vertical forces and putting it equals to 0. You can see that the first force which is vertical force is R and that is in the upward direction. It is to be considered as positive. So, R is considered as positive and minus times 500 sin 30 minus 500 sin 30 is considered as negative and we need to put it equals to 0. So, from here R can be calculated. So, R can be calculated by putting in the value of sin 30. So, the value of R is this 469.84. So, considering R we can find out F, F is mu R as you know. So, frictional force is frictional coefficient of friction is 0.14 given in the question multiplied by 469.84. I will get the value of F as 65.77 Newtons. So, we got the value of F from here considering all the forces in the horizontal direction, I can easily find out the value of P. So, I have told you that we have found out the value of R. Then, considering sum of all the horizontal forces. So, one horizontal force is this P and another horizontal force is 500 cos 30. Both are having the opposite signs. So, P is having the positive sign and minus 500 cos 70 will be having the negative sign. We need to put it equals to 0. So, from here P is calculated which was required in the question. So, P is 236.78. This is the required aspect. So, in this category of the problem what we learnt, we have seen that the force was applied on the block, but the block was not placed perpendicularly on the horizontal surface. Rather, the block is placed on the inclined surface and the force was parallel to the base. Similarly, we can have a case in which the force is having an inclination with an angle. Then also we can uh, break that into two different segments or uh, two different components of the forces and apply the similar concept so that uh, the value of P or W can be obtained as far as the requirement of the question is. So, with this we come to the end of uh, module number 1 in which uh, we learnt about uh, different topics and uh, in this video we learnt about the numerical section based on the concept of friction. For detailed conceptual clarity, you can refer to this book by S. Chan Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. If you find the video interesting, like, share, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. Thank you. All rights reserved. 
This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.